crafty friends it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a rainbow themed card featuring Newton's Nook Design stamps and the stamp set I'm using is from last summer's release called Beach Party. I'll be creating a set of rainbow surfboards and then incorporating the final color of the rainbow with that little surfer dude Winston there. To start off I'm going to be doing a masking technique to get all those surfboards to look like they're layered up um, and you know kind of propped up on something behind Winston. And I, for this, I'll do just one mask. So I'm taking some Inka Tinka Do stamping mask paper and stamping out just one surfboard. And then I will trim out the mask and I will stamp the surfboards in order, moving the mask each time. So it allows me to create this really great layered effect, but only fussy cut one time. So I took um, the My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink and stamped that down on a stitched rectangle panel of Georgia Pacific 110 pound cardstock. I then layered the mask over the first stamping of the surfboard and I'm going to stamp the surfboard again. As I'm stamping the surfboards I'm sort of trying to think ahead a little bit because I know that I'm going to want five surfboards. There's six colors in the rainbow and I'm going to have only five of them be surfboards mostly because I didn't think I could quite squeeze six surfboards in and also I thought it would be really fun to incorporate Winston directly into the rainbow effect on the card here. So I just, um, as I go, carefully lay the mask down. Because the My Favorite Things hybrid ink dries pretty quickly, I don't have to worry about smearing it as I go. But if you were concerned, you could just um, run the heat gun because as you do um, peel up the mask, a wetter ink will stick to the back of the mask and could spread your ink around. I thought about making some of the other surfboards look like they were forward because whichever thing you stamp first is going to look like it's in front of everything else and I thought about maybe making them look like some on the end were in front but I thought that might be a little bit trickier to achieve and I just wanted to show you a way that you could get this cool effect very quickly. And so I saved a little bit of room for Winston on the end so the border between the first surfboard and the left side is a little smaller than on the right side. I'm going to stamp Winston on a separate piece of paper because I'm actually going to fussy cut him out. I find that with images like Winston that are pretty easy to cut out, I prefer to fussy cut because then when I do my coloring, I can be a little bit more sloppy. I don't have to worry about being inside the lines and it saves me time in the end. When I go back to color those surfboards, I'm going to have to make sure that I'm really careful and I don't get anything outside the lines because that's going to be my final card panel. Whereas Winston here, you're going to see I actually intentionally color right outside the lines. And it's just for me what's faster because I have a steady hand with cutting, but I know not everyone's comfortable with that. And in which case you could have masked out Winston, but then you would have had to fussy cut him out of the Inka Dinka Do stamping mask paper anyway to do the masking effect on him. So I think it's just easier to cut him out. Plus it allows me to pop him up on some foam dots afterwards. To color Winston here, I'm using E31 and 33. I'm laying down the 31 first and then blending it out with the 33. Sometimes in, on small critters like this, you can start with a darker color and blend out, but I wasn't quite sure how dark I wanted to bring him if I wanted to do three layers of color, so I just started with my lighter color there. I'm adding the shadows in the traditional places, like where his head meets his body, and also trying to give him a little bit of a rounded effect in the face by putting some shadows on the top and bottom of his face. To color the shorts, I knew that I wanted to be incorporating the purple, but I also knew that I did not want to have to color around all those little dots. I love the polka dots on his shorts, but it is quite a pain to color around them, and so I decided that I would just make the um, non-spotted part of his shorts a lighter color and then that way I could just color directly over and it would save me some time and I tend to do that a lot with coloring when I can get away with it I'll think about oh how could I minimize the effort here and um, one way to do that is to color with a lighter color and then go darker something I did recently on a card with a tiger where I like colored the whole tiger and then went back in with the black stripes rather than worrying about avoiding coloring the stripes and the same thing you could do with the nose here, because you're going to be putting a dark gray. I use W7, for instance, on top. You know, you could have just colored it in enough to worry about fussing around the line, the line of the nose. To color in the surfboards, I am going to make the outer parts of the surfboard a different color than the inner parts of the surfboard, so that there's um, either darker on the outside or lighter on the outside, just for a little bit more interest. 
and I'm going to use a combination of two reds for um, each part. So there's four of each color on a surfboard. Hope I'm being clear with this. The there's two darker reds and then two lighter reds. Then there'll be two darker oranges and two lighter oranges. So I have a total of four of each color when I do the coloring. I'm using R14 and R17 here, and you see that I am bringing in the darker colors on the top and the bottom and creating a highlight in the middle. I like to use a flicking technique. I find that that's um, a good way for me to blend, particularly on this type of paper. And um, in order to achieve that flicking technique, you see that I move my paper around a lot because I'm one of the people who like to flick away from me. Some people like to flick towards them, some away. It's whatever you're comfortable with. And I definitely encourage you to experiment and play with your markers because that's the only way. You don't have to do it the way someone else does it. And obviously, I'm no expert in Copic coloring. I, you know, I have some experience, but I cannot do the crazy techniques with hair and stuff that some people do. I just like to play around with them, and they're so easy to color with. So I'll just kind of keep flicking towards the inside, keeping my highlights, like I said, um, in the middle, and I'll be the same all throughout. And I just showed the coloring of the red and applied all the same techniques to the orange, yellow, green, and blue. And I decided to mount the stitched rectangle panel onto black cardstock. I find that black cardstock really helps to bring out the rainbow effect, whereas if you choose one of the colors in the rainbow, it kind of takes away from it and um, doesn't quite leave that kind of heavy impact punch of the um, rainbow effect. For the enjoy your day sentiment, I actually went to Newton summer vacation, but there's some great sentiments that you could use, like catch a wave from the beach party set. But since I had both sets, I wanted to make it a little bit more general. This way, maybe I could do like a summer birthday card. But then when I stamped it down, I did not stamp it well, and I um, didn't. I must not have applied ink fully to my stamp and so to fix that I just took my memento tuxedo black marker and traced over the word enjoy and it adds a little emphasis to enjoy because the marker is a little bit thicker but that's all right um, so that's it for my card today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in more crafty videos you can subscribe to my channel I'm going to leave links to the Newton's Nick blog where this card will be featured and to the products in the video description below thanks for watching bye